Seeking Truth, by, Newness of Life Ministries www.trcb.me slash Noel. But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all men generously and without reproach, and it will be given to him. James 1-5 when Moses left Egypt with his people over two million God was with them. And the Lord was going before them in a pillar of cloud by day to lead them on the way, and a pillar of fire by night to give them light, that they might travel by day and by night. Exodus 13-21 Prior to the coming of Jesus Christ, the wisdom of God was given to the people through a select few, Moses being one of them. It was to Moses that God gave the Ten Commandments and it was Moses who wrote the first five books of the Bible. Today, though the help of our Comforter, God the Holy Spirit, He is available to each Christian to help us understand His teachings in the Holy Bible. But this wisdom will not magically come into our heads. It must be taught and learned by members of God's Kingdom. If you seek this wisdom, God will supply you with a teacher and the ability to gain it. Your article could be in this broadcast. Visit trcb.com to find out how. Proverbs 2 teaches us today. Proverbs 2, 3-53, For if you cry for discernment, lift your voice for understanding. For, if you seek her as silver, and search for her as for hidden treasures. 5, then you will discern the fear of the Lord, and discover the knowledge of God. Psalm 12. 1-4 Theme, Protection Against Propaganda 1, Help, Lord for the godly man ceases to be, for the faithful disappear from among the sons of men. 2, They speak falsehood to one another. With flattering lips and with a double heart they speak. 3, May the Lord cut off all flattering lips, the tongue that speaks great things. 4, Who have said, With our tongue we will prevail. Our lips are our own who is Lord over us. 5. Because of the devastation of the afflicted, because of the groaning of the needy, now I will arise, says the Lord. I will set him in the safety for which he longs. Today's question. How do you find truth? First, it is important to seek truth from God. No matter who you are, or where you live, if you want to know God, he will provide truth to you. He may provide truth through someone else that he sends to you, or he may move you to another place where you can discover truth. For many, he provides truth through his word, the Bible, and teachers of the word. Lastly, God will provide truth supernaturally when necessary. The key is to want to know him. But an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip saying, Arise and go south to the road that descends from Jerusalem to Gaza. God used one of his angels to send Philip to an Ethiopian official who was seeking God. And when Philip had run up, he heard him reading Isaiah the prophet, and said, Do you understand what you are reading? And he said, Well, how could I, unless someone guides me? And he invited Philip to come up and sit with him. Acts 8-26, 30-31 As Psalm 12 teaches, there is a lot of propaganda and untruth being taught as God's Word. Therefore, it is important that Christians become able to tell truth from lies. The evil one also has his teachers using the same medium and methodology that God's teachers use. Therefore, you must pray for discernment. For though by this time you ought to be teachers, you have need again for someone to teach you the elementary principles of the oracles of God and you have come to need milk and not solid food. 13. For everyone who partakes only of milk is not accustomed to the word of righteousness, for he is a babe. 14. But solid food is for the mature, who because of practice have their senses trained to discern good and evil. Heb 5, 12-14. Dear God, give us a love for reading your word, a teacher to help us understand, the Holy Spirit to direct our paths and the ability to discern good from evil. Amen. The Newness of Life Daily Bible Message is designed for those who like to take a short respite from the day's responsibilities to enjoy the contemplation of God's Word. This daily message is based primarily upon the belief that to read some of Proverbs and some of Psalm every day will provide us with great spiritual growth and development when done consistently with discipline. 
Philip Saxton and contribute to Newness of Life Ministries NOL Philip Saxton, www.newnessoflife.com. Philip can be reached at saxtonatemetown.com. Music by Kevin McLeod.